Man, it is horrible out there. So what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna stay indoors and talk about prehab. Good evening, beautiful people. It's Ben at This Messy Happy, and welcome back to another exciting instalment of Tutorial, which is also good wordplay. <laughs> What we're going to talk about this week is prehab and a good routine of stretching and other things you can do to avoid injury after exercise. What I'm going to show you is a few easy stretches, a good stretching routine to avoid injuries in the first place, to get up in front of it. And we're going to start with the calf stretch. Now, you may think of the calf, which is down here, Mary, this muscle here as one big muscle. It's actually two, so I'm going to give you a stretch for each of those muscles to make sure you hit both of them. Okay, all you need to do is you need to find a wall. There's two muscles in the calf, as I said. The first one is the soleus. What you have to do is you have to have both your feet facing forwards, nice and straight. Then, rock forwards with your leg, your back leg still straight and keeping your back leg on the floor, or your back foot, sorry, on the floor, bend that back leg. You will suddenly feel a kind of pull there and you need to hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Gastrocnemius is the other muscle in the calf and the way to stretch that is simply keeping the legs straight and rocking forwards and you should feel a pull higher up in the leg there. Now you always hold a stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and I'll get into that in a minute. Let's move on. <sighs> right, the next stretch is for your quadriceps which are these big muscles at the front here. You're gonna need a cushion because there will be pressure on your knee. Now what you do is you put the cushion on the floor, you put your knee on the cushion. Make sure it's straight, ball of the foot on the wall, keep your back nice and straight, engage your bum so your glutes, you have to clench your glutes and it will just mean you'll push forward a little bit in the hip there and if you stay nice and straight and you'll feel it all down the front there. Now the reason, like I said, that you hold it for 20 to 30 seconds is that is when you actually elongate the muscle. Anything under the muscle will return to its normal length. Okay, hamstring stretch. What most people do as a hamstring stretch is they go side on, keep a straight leg and do something like this. Now you'll feel a pull down all of the back of your leg, behind your knee and into your calf. Actually, that's because you're putting stress on your nerve that runs down from the glute all the way down. To isolate the hamstring, to really get a really good hamstring stretch, which are three muscles by the way, in the back of the leg, is this. What you have to do is, standing foot facing forwards, front foot facing forwards, straight leg, bent leg. You lean over your front leg and wrap your arms around underneath and then slowly rock back trying to straighten this leg a bit. Now, you'll get to about this point here and you will feel a pull in the belly of the hamstring, right in the center. So nothing, you're not putting any stress on the nerve under the knee, you're not putting any stress back here on the glutes, you're feeling a really good stretch in the belly of the hamstring. Again, holding it for 20 to 30 seconds on each leg. This is a really simple one. Just make sure it opens out the groin. The groin can get quite tight back straight and all I want you to do is just push down with your elbows on the outside, on the insides of the knee here and hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. We're gonna get into the hip stretch. So we're going into a lunge. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my foot at the back is nice and stable, so I'm stable. I'm gonna have my hands on my hips, I want my back straight and I'm just gonna ease myself forwards until I can feel it right there. I just wanna make sure that my back is straight and I'm easing forwards and I can feel this in the hip there. We're moving into the kind of glute area, so your bum and your lower back. These are really important, big functional muscles that definitely need some mobility and stretching. So glute stretch, what you do is you lie on the ground. Make sure your ankle is anchored to your knee joint here. Put your hands behind your hamstring of the other leg and just pull forwards until you feel it should feel it down here and feel it into your glute. If you wanna really, really push the stretch, obviously do it within your limits, but what you can do is also put your hand on your other knee and ease that forward as you ease this foot back. 
and you'll really feel a stretch there. So lower back, you're gonna to need to see a bit more. So leg straight, this leg bent, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand on the outside of the knee. You must keep this shoulder blade on the ground and you're just going to turn over and push down here, just nice and gently whilst really focusing on your breathing, focusing on your deep breathing. You can then play about with it a bit, move your knee upwards because that works a different area of the lower back. You can move it downwards, works another different area of the lower back, but always trying to focus on keeping the shoulder blade on the floor. So that is just a really basic stretching routine that hits all the major muscles that you would usually use in at least running and cycling. One last thing I would recommend before we go is I would definitely recommend getting this, bear with me one second. Now this is called a grid foam roller. This particular one is by Trigger Point. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm <laughs> tiny. Um, this is a deep tissue massage that you can do at home and it kind of separates those muscles that have been worked and make sure that they repair properly, gets rid of scar tissue. I've had a real history of injury and since I've been using this and since I've been going through this prehab routine, fingers crossed, haven't been injured. Okay, a few final things from me. When I talk about prehab, what I mean is getting ahead of the injury before it happens. What I don't mean is doing the stretching before you exercise. So make sure that you do the static stretching at the right time. So many people get that wrong. I hope you've enjoyed this one this week. I'm hoping it's below five minutes. I have no idea. Mary's telling me there's a lot of footage. I have talked a lot. You're talking. <laughs> I'm still talking. <laughs> But if this has added value, then I would really appreciate that you subscribe, like, share, whatever you can, just to try and spread the word. And if you have any suggestions for what you want to see, then hit me up in the comments. And I guess I will see you for next week's Tutorial. Later. <laughs>